Sound, Part One. Production and propagation of sound. In this video, we will get an introduction to production and propagation of sound. From the sound of the birds chirping to the sound of the running vehicles, we are surrounded by various sounds. Sound is a form of energy which travels through a medium and creates a sensation of hearing in our ears. We studied earlier that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed. It can only be changed from one form to another. When you clap your hands, a sound is produced. Can you tell which energy is converted to sound energy in this case? Do you know if we need energy to produce sound or not? Or how sound is transmitted? Now let us take a few simple examples to find answers to these questions. Take a tuning fork and a rubber pad. Hit one of the prongs of the tuning fork on the rubber pad to set the fork on vibration. Now bring the tuning fork close to your ear and then touch one of the prongs of the tuning fork with your fingers. What did you hear? And how did you feel about touching the prongs of the tuning fork? In the previous examples, we produced sound by setting the object on vibration. Can sound be produced without vibrating an object? Vibration sets an object in a rapid to and fro motion. Vibration of the vocal cords produces human voice. Have you heard the buzzing of the bees? How do you think the buzzing noise is produced? Now, let us perform simple activity to see how vibration produces sound. Take a rubber band and stretch it. Then pluck the rubber band. You will notice that the band vibrates and produces a sound. But how does the sound reach your ears? Sound travels from the point of its origin to the receiving end and to do so it needs a medium to travel. The substance or matter through which sound propagates is termed as medium. The medium can be solid, liquid or gas. As soon as an object is set on vibration it starts the vibration of the particles around it. A particle of a medium in contact with a vibrating object gets displaced from its equilibrium position. Then it exerts a force on its neighboring particles and displaces them from equilibrium. After displacing its neighboring particles, the first particle goes back to its original state of rest again. This process continues in the medium till the sound reaches your ear. Thus, a sound is a disturbance which travels through a medium when the particles of the medium set its neighboring particles into motion. These particles keep producing similar motions in other particles of the medium. The disturbance created by any source of sound propagates through the medium, but the particles of the medium do not travel. This is what happens during the propagation of sound and so it can be visualized as a wave. Sound waves are characterized by the motion of the particles in a medium and are called mechanical waves. 
The most common medium through which sound travels is air. When a vibrating object moves forward, it creates a region of high pressure by compressing the air in front of it. This is called compression. This compression moves away from the vibrating object. When the vibrating object moves backwards, it creates a region of low pressure, which is called rarefaction. The to and fro motion of a vibrating object creates a series of compressions and rarefactions in the air, which helps the sound wave to propagate through a medium. Compression is the region of high pressure, while rarefaction is the region of low pressure. Here, pressure is related to the number of particles of a medium in a given volume. Pressure becomes more when the density of the particles becomes more and the pressure becomes less when the density of the particles becomes less. Therefore, propagation of sound in a medium can be considered as the propagation of density variations or pressure variations in a medium. In this video, we got an introduction to production and propagation of sound. In the next video, we will learn about sound waves.